about to pop. And then two two wings. about what my pants look like a while ago <laughs> <laughs> so we had the funniest thing happen we pulled up on the farm and I get out and I'm like what's all in the seat wait 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 well, let's talk about what the guilty pleasure of my wife is what is your guilty pleasure I love lint chocolates <laughs> somehow one ended in my seat and I don't think I did it I think I had some mm -hmm. little hands that did it and <laughs> are now fishing to get on the interstate heading to HOA so it has been a very stressful last few hours and really last few days Missy's been packing up and you have to get seven people ready and uh, old Missy ends up messing up so we're taking a car with seven people in it packed with so much junk we've got a luggage rack on top of the car and a cooler on the back yeah a draw tight uh, extension on the back with the cooler so if we don't make it with clothes or a cooler I guess we didn't have it tied down tight enough so it's been a stressful day but we're excited to get on the road we're gonna try to go all the way to uh, Knoxville tonight um, and that's about an eight hour, eight journey. hour journey so we're that put us about Depending halfway on traffic. now we're gonna probably do a live tonight because it is uh, we're actually leaving on Wednesday and it's Wednesday now but we're actually going to probably do our live tonight too, so from the road. So we'll see how that goes. Misty will have to handle that because we'll probably be in bad traffic when we do that. But we are packed in, ready to go, ready to have some fun and meet some new people and see old friends. So we're excited. What about you? What do you think? We make it. I hope we make it. <laughs> we're bringing a new bit. We, we have our older vehicle it has too many miles to take. And we found this one about, a, what, three or four weeks ago? We were, we were buying this really just as an extra vehicle for town because uh, just because like I said our other vehicles weren't slap out. Little did we know we we're going to be driving it over 2,000 miles round trip Have so we're a little worried about it. you told the generator was what was giving us issues? On yeah that? I mentioned it in the last video. but So we were really banking on that because of the space and... And you don't realize you know I guess when you're, you're bringing seven people and you have a farm uh, here we are, we have a calf who's, I mean, a cow that's just a calf. All of a sudden, we hit, we lost the generator in the RV, so we're canceling an RV spot in Virginia. Then we're trying to find a hotel. Well, everything around is booked up because of this conference and it being a weekend in Virginia, close to Washington. So, it has been a stressful few days. I'm, I'm not going to lie about that for sure. So, on the road we go. We are in Birmingham. The baby woke up. Little monster man. And the girls are screaming to go to the bathroom. So we're about to make our first stop. We're going to gas up, go to the bathroom. And get a coffee. <laughs> Teddy says get a coffee. And um, get a snack. So, so far it's been pretty good. I have a feeling we might be hitting some traffic in a minute. We'll see. We're having a detour through Birmingham because they're doing so much work. Yeah, we are detouring through the downtown area of Birmingham. So, one of the things that we decided to do though. Tell them our new plans for tomorrow. We're actually, our goal is to, if we could get to Knoxville, or at least, or at least Knoxville, but hopefully get closer to Bristol tonight, which would put us around 10 or 11 tonight, getting to or our time, central time, eastern time would be 11 or 12 in Bristol, Tennessee. Our goal is to go to Polyface tomorrow. Uh, ben Vinson from BW Farms, they're gonna try to go as well. So we're gonna try to meet them up there, have a good time, seeing Joel Salatin's operation. I know we'll get to hear him. But I'm gonna be kind of giddy trying to uh, get to go see uh, go see the farm. So I've always watched videos on it, excited to go. I know a lot of you have already went, so uh, we're excited to go. But we're gonna try to go and, and 
Get there tomorrow with them. <laughs> All right, we are almost to, well, we're just going through Chattanooga. We've got about an hour and a half to get to Knoxville. About an hour and a half to Knoxville. We're going to try to go all the way to, what's it called? Kingsport. Kingsport. In two miles, take exit 185B on the left to merge so, onto I-75 North toward Knoxville. We were going to go to, we were going to try to go to Knoxville. Then we talked to VW. They were going to try to go to Bristol. And I think they stopped south of Bristol. And we're going to try to get to at least where they're at. Because again, that way we could all try to go to um, Polyface tomorrow together. So we're going to try to make it. It would put us, it's 841 central time 9 41 eastern time which we just crossed over in the, the eastern time so we will be making it there to keep our probably around three, 12. three hours to drive yeah it's probably gonna be close to 11 and, 45, 12. Look, and unfortunately the we are in stop traffic so we actually may not make it it really just depends on these little rascals right back here say bye say bye Well, we made it to the hotel. Um, it's around 1.30 or so in the morning. My kids, I was gonna film them, but they were all having kind of like a breakdown moment. So, <laughs> but hey, we, we've made it. It's good that we're in uh, Kings, Kingsport, Tennessee, uh, real close to the line, and we're gonna plan to drive the rest of it in the morning to go to Polyface. So. We hope that you have a good rest of the evening and uh, we're gonna go get some sleep and try to feel a little bit better in the morning. Well, good morning. We are actually leaving uh, Kingsport, Tennessee, heading to uh, Polyface Farm. So we didn't realize the store closed a little early, so we're gonna try to rush and try to get into the store. I don't know if we're gonna make it to the store, but at least we'll be able to tour the farm. And, uh, so we're on our way now. It's a beautiful day, beautiful morning, and it's gonna be beautiful weather all day. We're about probably about five to ten minutes from Joel Salton's farm at Polyface. Um, it's beautiful country through here. I'm so glad we came this way. Um, all these big barns and these rolling hills and mountains. There's so many barns and farms on the hills. They're absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful. So we're we're close. Uh, get excited to be able to do this. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna try to open the store. It closes at twelve, so we're gonna try to run into the store. And. Uh, and we're hoping to uh, be able to just enjoy all his little mini farms inside his big farm. So we're gonna go see what we can see. Oh, yeah. 
started the apprenticeship. And of course, that was it. A 20 year old guy comes, 14 year old's in charge of it. <laughs> <laughs> he knew way more than a, uh, than a green apprentice, let yeah, me tell you. I bet he did. And uh, so, yeah, he's, he's grown up with it and ran it. How many apprentices do you have right now working? Uh, right now, we have two. Here. Two. Uh, but we've just, all the interns just left. Just left. Week. So we, we're down, but but we're also way down in the workload too. We just put through the last broilers yesterday, so there's no broiler pins to move. So we're, you know, our workload is just yeah. plummeting. And uh, and then we do our, we do our checkouts here starting October 20th. So we're just two weeks out from, from our our checkouts for, for next year. Hmm. We've got 45, we've got 45 coming over a two week period. So man, we got the jobs <laughs> lined up. I'm telling all the grunt stuff, you know, Chopping multiple floor rows, and picking up firewood. I mean, this pile here is going to be, you know, in, in, in a couple a couple days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's a it's an exciting time. Yeah. Now, where's Good. the sawmill at? Sawmill's right over there. Uh, it's it's that roof line that you can just barely see over the top of the hoop right okay. here. It's right it's right here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Go feel free to feel free to check it out. Thanks Appreciate so much. Your time. Thanks Absolutely. so much. Absolutely. Look forward to seeing y'all. This conference is a good one. Yes. Uh, people ask me, you know, what, what's the difference between it and the Mother Earth News Fair? I uh, said, so, well, the, 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 the difference is that this is this is for the Christian home sketch. Yeah. yeah. The, the the conservative Christian, you know, Mother Earth News. I mean, they got them too, but it, it, it it's a much different it's a it's a much different mix, a much different right. feel. This one, this one is uh, is uh, a much more overall, you know conservative uh, kind of thing, so it's, uh, I enjoy it. And you all know that next year, July 17 and 18, we're hosting the very first on-farm Mother Earth News Fair. Oh, wow. wow. Mm -hmm. Here. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, we're, 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 we're emotionally um, getting ready to be able to handle 10,000 people. Wow. That's pretty huge. 5,000 each day, not yeah. 10,000 yeah. at once, but, but 5,000 each day. So, yeah, it's going to be a pretty big deal. That whole 12-acre field is going to be 300 vendors. And, I mean, they've got it all mapped out. Wow. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be quite deal. But it's going to be fun. We can do some things that you can't normally do. I mean, even at Home Service of America, it's at a fairground. Right. Here, we'll have somebody actually making charcoal. Wow. You'll be able wow. to do stuff that you can't do at a fairground right. for liability or because you can't clean it up or you know that sort of thing. We'll, we'll go and we'll move cows. We'll, you know, we'll we'll be able to do things. And uh, so we're really keen on stuff. I mean, I, I'm planning to take a take a group that wants to go up the mountain to see the whole water system, the ponds, wow. the, you know, all that. We've got eight miles of water line. Mm -hmm. On the place, all, gra gravity, all, gra all gravity, gravity. no problem. I thought one mile was 70, 70 psi. We didn't build it all in a day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, it's come over time. But, we didn't uh, either. It's only a week. <laughs> <laughs> and most of it's above ground. No, no. Um, uh, 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 well, we're we're burying more and more okay. of it. Um, but we've got no. We've got. We're certainly way over half buried now. Okay. Um, didn't used to be. But uh, you got to crawl before you walk. And we used to have it all run on three-quarter inch line, too. And then the fertility came up, you know, doubled up, tripled up the cow herd and everything. And we needed more water. So now everything's inch and a quarter wow. to, to get enough, and you get get enough flow. Inside, yeah. and yeah. 70 PSI inch and a quarter. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, I mean, the water comes in the <laughs> trough at, uh, what is it, like uh, 15, 17 gallons a minute. Oh, my god. Yeah. So you, you can feed a pretty good... You know, 200 head of cattle in a 100 gallon tank. You know, if, if you've got replenishment that bad. Yeah. Yeah. Good. All right. Thank you so Thank much. You. Enjoy it as much as you want. Every you can see it, anything you want to. Um, the closest pigs, the closest pigs are across this flat field and into the woods. So if you just kind of keep heading toward one o'clock there, you'll you'll run into them across that field in the woods if you want to see pigs. In there. Okay. Thanks so much. Well, as you see, we had to spend time with Mr. Salatin himself, and that was a blast. Uh, me and Ben from BW saw him, and Once Upon a Farmstead was there too, and so we got to spend some time talking to him, asking some questions, and how awesome is it to come here and actually get to see him. So we're stoked about it. I'm drinking some of this summer mint kombucha. It's awesome. So I've been walking through his herb garden, and he actually has 
a lot of things planted that I have planted. So I easily spotted the deal here. And this is all lemon basil. Lemon basil smells amazing. Um, it looks like most of their things are going to seed. I couldn't hardly tell what this was. Can you tell what it is from looking at it? I couldn't, but I could smell it. So this is going to be mint. Yeah, I can see the hair This smell. is mint. This is pretty cool way of growing it because mint is almost hard. It's really hard to kill. And it kind of contains itself so it doesn't take over because mint will take over everything. So his herb garden. Uh, How awesome was it get to see him? It was very cool. It's very cool. Um, so, anyway, his herb garden, I spotted several things that we we also grow, so they were very easy to spot. I see one about to pop. And one two two <laughs> It's about what my pants looked like a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> so we had the funniest thing happen. We pulled up on the farm and I get out and I'm like, what's all in the seat? Wait, wait, wait. Well, let's talk about what the guilty pleasure of my wife is. What is your guilty pleasure? I love lint chocolates. <laughs> Somehow one ended in my seat and I don't think I did it. I think I had some mm -hmm. little hands that did it and I get out and there's like brown stuff all in the seat. So I'm like, it's all over the back of my pants. So then I dig all in the back of the vehicle and get an extra pair of pants that I had packed and get up to the store. And I'm like, where's your restrooms? I need to change my pants, please. And she's like, in the porter potties, they're outside. <laughs> so I was like, do you think there's enough room for me to change? She's like, I don't know, you can go check it out. So thankfully, it was big enough for me to change pants in because my whole backside of my pants was completely mm. brown. <laughs> it was actually kind of comical. It was very comical. So, um, yeah, thankfully my shirt was long enough where I didn't have to walk in the store and people see my brown backside. Um, so that was a little bit of a lifesaver. It was brown and nasty, but at least it didn't stink. <laughs> this huge chicken tractor it's so cool to see it I bet you there are I couldn't imagine how many chickens are right here you see Ben's in there It would make me chuckle if he started chasing you there. Yeah. I might see if that boy Yeah. <laughs> It has been a long day, but a fun day. We just finished up at um, Polyface Farms. That was a super cool that was adventure. Very cool. We so some shout cool out things. to VW for getting in touch with us and letting us know because I didn't know that you could just go walk around on yeah. his farm. It's really like an open door policy. Um, even if you get on his website and look, it talks about how you're welcome to come walk anywhere it on his really property is like an open at any door time. Policy. And he just said to me, you know, of course, respect his property. But the coolest thing is what you saw, you guys saw that we were able to 
get Colby to see got him. to take a picture with him and asking him some questions. So that was really cool. Well, we went to his store and we actually, me and Misty saw a guy and I was like, man, that looks like Joe Felton. It wasn't him. And I was, I was kind of just hard. I was like, oh, he's not going to be here. I, we'll just go in the store, enjoy walking around. Uh, we're going to get to see Ben Andrea from BW Farms. And, and all of a sudden, me and Ben were outside talking and he's like, just walks right past us. So we, uh, we conjured him up and he stayed and talked. Really nice guy. We really enjoyed it. And, and again, I can't say enough good things about the farm. We had a, a blast. We yes, really it was a really, really cool layout. Really cool um, thinking process yeah. of just thinking through everything. So Truth it was really, really neat. Yeah, it was really, really neat. We had a great time. But it's Daddy's birthday. We're supposed to go in to grab some lunch. And what do y'all say? Happy birthday, y'all.